Welcome back to the Hang Gliding Files. Today we're going to talk about our uh, teleportation widget and uh, what it is, what it does, and how to install it. Well now the first question you're going to ask is why in the world would I need such a thing anyway? What is it? Well, you don't actually need it. What If you just want to have a hang glider and go fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator, you don't need anything other than the hang glider itself. You just uh, use the simulator to go and find a place on the world that you want to start and that's going to be an airport and that's the way that um, the simulator works. It expects that you're going to spawn in at some airport and you can do that and if your hang glider is the thing that you had in the hangar uh, when you spawn you'll be a hang glider on the ground and you will be ready to tow like any sailplane can do an arrow toe or a winch toe um, and that's anywhere on the uh, planet that has a valid uh, MSFS 2020 uh, airport and there you are you're ready to go And that's not the only way that you can uh, use just a standard hang glider and no other tools. You can just uh, go to the map and pick any particular spot anywhere on the planet and choose that as your destination or your start point, your departure, and you'll instantly be put there and you'll be flying a hang glider about uh, 2,000 feet over the ground. Well, the reason I started this uh, showing that you can do all this flying in a, in a hang glider without having any additional tools is to uh, let people know that uh, if they don't want to go through the process of uh, downloading and installing these um, other tools that are going to be part of this series, they don't have to. You can just fly hang gliders this way and be perfectly fine. The video that we're going to show here today is not that though. What we're going to show is how you can uh, greatly enhance how you fly hang gliders in the simulator and to do that you need to have some additional tools because hang gliders are not part of the simulator the ability to foot launch foot land or go to uh, different places so that you can launch off the side of a hill so that's what this uh, uh, first video in the series is about is the first step in uh, having the software you need to uh, expand your hang gliding experience After installing the widget, uh, following the instructions at the end of this video, uh, you should see the uh, hang glider icon appear in your MSFS 2020 toolbar. This pops up the widget, which is this pop-up window that allows you to search for different flying sites and then teleport yourself to those flying sites. It's a 
sizable by you. You can put it anywhere you want on the screen and it remembers where it was uh, between each of your sessions. The widget contains a database of many different flying sites. A flying site consists of one or more setup areas or launches or landing areas as we see in this example. Uh, by simply typing in the name you, you get your access to all of the defined uh, spawn points that have been defined in the database for this site. Once you select a spawn point, the app tells the simulator to immediately try to teleport you to that site. Well, doing this takes a little while for the simulator to adjust and repaint the scene and download all of the uh, background that it needs, so we need to wait a bit after doing a teleportation before the glider and the simulator is ready to be used again. But you can also jump around from uh, place to place on a site. So here we went from uh, a landing area up to one of the launches. And it, as you can see, not all the elements are uh, quite yet on the ground or placed um, where they need to be yet as the simulator tries to catch up. Well, once a teleportation has completed and you're settled, then you're free to move about and uh, get yourself into a, a position where you can launch. Now, all of this, the ground handling and the launch ability and the uh, elements that you see on the site, uh, including the weather that we're selecting here that's specific to the site, those will be discussed later, and those are uh, elements of a different um, bit of software. All we're worried about with this app is the ability for us to put ourselves into known places. After we get ourselves positioned uh, and into the wind, uh, then we'll use uh, some other software to take off. And the reason that we're able to do this and be able to launch and fly from the side of a hill is because the widget was the tool that put us on the side of the hill in the first place. So the widget is the secret to being able to get to uh, places in the simulator that are not um, runways or just dropping in the middle of the air. So another thing the widget allows us to do is we can change our position uh, at any time during a flight or uh, after a flight so you could relaunch, go to the top of a mountain, or go to a whole new site without having to get out of your flight that you're currently in and just um, instantaneously uh, go to a different place on the planet and a different place to fly.
A quick note on uh, the time that you see between the time that you do the uh, start of the teleportation and the time before you actually can start moving around. And uh, that is just um, something you have to let the uh, app do. It, you can close the window earlier than that, but what will happen is the, under, the software underneath will not get reset and set so that you can move around and you'll just be stuck and you'll have to teleport again. So part of the thing that you have to do is there's instructions on the window and when it says that you're uh, ready to set the glider down, then the teleportation and the reset has finished. So um, as you're using that, the tool and you're using it to uh, go from place to place, don't be in a huge hurry to um, close the window and get started flying. Wait until the window says that it's okay to, to start before closing the window. Okay, the widget is simply a tool that will let you type in a name of a site. And so the name needs to match exactly, and if two or more sites have the same name or something close to the same name, you need to make them as unique as possible before you find the site that you're looking for. The sites come with the widget, and uh, if you update the widget later, it'll come with uh, updated sites. And there's other ways for the sites in the widget database to get updated, but those are other pieces of software. Uh, when you download the widget and install it, it will operate just as you've seen here, all by itself, without any other um, tools. There are tools that are allowing the glider to be uh, moved around on the ground and that set up weather and do um, the specifics about some of the sites. This site doesn't have any um, wind socks or points of interest markers or uh, any other kinds of uh, scenery enhancements. It's a, just a raw site that has native to the simulator. And this is what most of the sites will look like that you fly in with the widget because the widget doesn't create the scenery. It just simply teleports you to a place on the planet. If a scenery has been built for that point on the planet, you'll see it. Um, so we'll talk about sceneries and um, enhancements to the sites in other future videos, but just know that right now, all that the widget does when you bring up this window is it simply will find an existing site that it knows in its database and allow you to choose a place on that site to teleport to. Well, hopefully by now you see the utility and the functionality of the widget and, and what it can do and uh, why we built it. Uh, 
If you're interested in uh, getting this tool, it's a free tool. Just go to our website to download, and it's a free download. Um, the link will be down below. And uh, what we're really asking people to do is um, to download the software, test it out, and send us any um, issues or um, things that they would like to have improved or added. Um, this is still in beta and uh, we're interested in making it as good as possible. Uh, also, please um, watch all of the videos for all of the other uh, um, adjacent type of software that we have. And if you're going to beta test for us, uh, please uh, wait and download all of the software so that you use all of them together. To become a, a beta tester, uh, just send us an email at thehanglidingfiles.com and uh, we'll put you on our list and all the um, early beta testers will get a copy of the uh, Pathfinder Alpha glider that you see here. This is not the uh, uh, glider that we're going to ship in beta, but it's a flyable glider and it allows you to do the testing of this software. And at the end of the um, beta testing, um, we will release a fully formed beta glider. And our intention is not to bring you just uh, one glider, one hang glider. We're going to try and make a, a basic hang glider model for all the categories. And that includes um, uh, training gliders, intermediate gliders, high performance gliders, uh, ATOS type spoiler controlled gliders, swift type gliders, and foot launch sailplanes. So uh, we want you guys to come along with this journey. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. and. Uh, also, in the long term, I think we're also going to provide um, customized gliders. So if you've got a glider that you want to see built, like a very specific manufacturer or model or some obscure um, hang glider, send us an email and we'll put it on our list. Uh, the, our goal is to uh, have as many different, unique type of gliders flying in a simulator as we can possibly get. Well, that's about it for today's video. You've seen everything that the uh, widget can do, and uh, you can make up your own mind if you want to download it or test it. Um, we thank you guys for watching the video. Um, if you want to support us and uh, keep seeing these kind of videos as we go along, um, hit the like and do the subscribe so you can see all of the new videos as, as they come out. And uh, also visit our website if you want to uh, kind of review what uh, what the team is and how uh, progress is being made and uh, where you can download some software. Anyway, looking forward to seeing you guys out on the hill. I uh, hope you guys are uh, psyched about starting to fly some hang gliders in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. At the end of the video here, if you um, uh, wait till the end, there will be a complete set of instructions on how to download and install uh, the, uh, the widget. Anyway, thanks guys. See you later.
Well, this is the Hang Gliding Files uh, website where you can download and uh, install from all of the software that we're creating for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The steps and instructions that you see here on this um, part of the video are specifically for downloading uh, the widget. Uh, so follow along and we'll show you how it gets uh, installed on your PC. You can get this software for free by going to thehanglidingfiles.com and going through our checkout process and um, signing up as a user. And this is a free download. We do this just so that we can um, keep track of people so that we can notify them on updates. And uh, you get a receipt and inside that receipt will be a link to a free uh, downloadable uh, zip file that you can then install into uh, your simulator. Once you've gotten your download, you need to install it into Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator, and we use the add-in uh, linker tool to do this because it's uh, easy to organize, and this is how I have my folders organized inside of the uh, uh, add-in tool. And that's because in Microsoft Flight Simulator, you'll probably end up with a lot of different things that you end up adding into your community folder, and this is a convenient tool that lets you manage and uh, watch and maintain what it is that you're actually adding into the simulator. So uh, the link is going to be below on how to find that uh, particular tool. And with that, uh, you have it installed and it'll uh, automatically be inside the simulator the next time you start. Um, it's always good to go out into your um, community folder and verify that it's there and if you do and you look at it you'll find all these kinds of different things that have been installed and the one that were specifically just installed is the TFG widget.